yes so hello this is a very lazy <laughs> video without edits mm. yeah, i will just showcase what the game has for now so yeah i will do a new game i will use sandbox mode because the car is still not here and let's name it maybe at x mm. so yes this is the game uh, I will decrease the render scale so my Mac Mini doesn't die. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is the UI. Uh, it's nothing like there is no big difference between ATX one and ATX two when it comes to the UI. You have the date. Yeah, the date is a big difference. I have the time controls here. Uh, and yeah, every day is like one jump, so the time is like much more detailed. Um, yeah, here is some stats, some windows, and the planets, and the transition is beautiful. Uh, yes, very beautiful. Okay, um, let's like we want to launch a rocket. So in the vehicles window, we have nothing. Um, in the research window we have like all the rockets unlocked so we can just build one and to build one rocket we have to simply build a factory so we will just do the falcon 9 rocket because because yes so yeah once you place the factory you can click on it and here you have like two production lines so let's like make prime rocket the falcon 9 obviously and orbiter and yeah we have to wait seven months um and yeah like now we can like do something else uh in the game yes but what if we want to like see what's going on so we we have like click on the factory but this is annoying if you have many factories so we can simply pin stuff and if we pin stuff we can either click tap or left click uh, right click or open the quick access uh, window and here we can rearrange all kinds of stuff uh, that we pin and we can pin pretty much anything and even control stuff that we pin so yes like imagine you just play the game and you quickly want to see what's up so oh yeah design notification very beautiful UI as you can see uh, yeah le let's take a look at the camera look the sky how it changes so now we are in space and on earth we are like on earth and at night there is night and when the day comes there will be day like <laughs> yeah a lot of time was spent on the sky and it looks very good so yeah the prime orbiter has been made so we will wait 20 more days for the prime rocket let's see and we have the prime rocket so yeah it as you can see it costs like a lot of money a month to uh even store the rockets so yeah it's not making a lot of sense to have a lot a lot of rockets built because they will all take your money away pretty fast um so yeah you gotta be careful with that but yeah to launch it we obviously need a launch pad so this is the prime launch pad i will just place it somewhere like yeah, we just place it here. It looks nice. We can rename it. Let's see. LC. A9. Uh, A. <laughs> A very ran random name. Uh, and yeah, to launch it, we simply have to select what rocket we want to launch. And it, as you, yeah, yeah, as you can see, we have second stages now. So no more simply Falcon 9 rocket. We have a fucking second stage. So let's see at vehicle so we will launch these two guys and let's launch atex sat satellite and let's do it from uh the launch pad oh the name didn't update i should fix that <laughs> but yeah we want to recover the rocket by landing on the landing zone uh we can't recover the second stage yet it will it's an upgrade uh, and yeah as you can see the requirements we need fuel <laughs> like we need actual fuel so we need kerosene fuel and we don't have any like zero liters so we need to uh, supply 100 
thousand liters um, and yeah the liquid liquid oxygen as well looks we need to supply that as well and as you can see it costs money uh, it costs money and yeah it will take one day for the second state to reach low, low orbit so let's launch as you can see we paid a lot of money mm. and let's launch <laughs> As you can see, the plume changes. Lucas did a very good job on that. You see the plume in space? It's much more open. Yeah, this puts the returns to Earth. And you will be able to see how it changes the texture like in real time. Did you catch that? It fade in the suit texture. It's very cool. But yeah, it landed. Uh, it landed very well. And now we can service it, but I didn't complete that feature yet. Like you can click on it and wait some time, but yeah. The, the rockets need some love still. Uh, yeah, the items. That is like inventory window now, where you have your items. And why is that useful? For example, when you build a clean factory. Um, and you build like, I don't know, let's say you build routers. I will pin that and I will infinitely produce the routers. <laughs> what are routers for? It's for link link. So link link is no more a window. Link link is actually a part of service feature. And to start a service, we need 200 uh, internet satellites, aka uh, Starlinks, on orbit. Uh, but we don't have any, so I will just spawn that. Uh, so let's add item to low orbit, and I will do link link satellite, and let's do like 250 uh, of link links, and they should appear, but they didn't. Which is strange. But yes, now we have internet satellites on low at orbits. Uh, so. We can start the service now and I will do Starlink because it's funny. Um, but yes, uh, now we have like the satellites, the routers, the relays, uh, the terminals, like th this, these are the terminals from ATX1 and the capacity. So we have Z, like we could have 50,000 people using the service, but the bandwidth is limited because there are no relays, like ground stations. So let's build a few. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know. I, I will just place a few. Uh, yeah, now we have enough uh, um, enough relays, but we don't have any routers. Like people can't literally can't connect to the internet because they don't have routers. So we need to sell the routers to people as well. Uh, so yeah, we have one thousand routers that we can sell um, and we can set up the price so right now we are making money when selling routers so every time we sell a router we get $2,500 uh, $2, but let's do it like for 1000 so we will lose 1000 on every sale but then we will have like more sales and if we have more sales then we will have more stalling uh, users and there we can like make up the price with the subscription like the people will just play to uh, pay 20 dollars more each month so we can calculate that after a year or two the price pretty much uh the price pretty much cancels out um and yeah that not thinking about the cost is decreasing like over time making a router will be cheaper than like than now, so we can literally make a router for 1,000 or 800 and sell it for 1,000. You know, it's not very hard economics simulation, but yeah. And now imagine you are like playing the game, yes. Uh, and like every time you want to check, sorry, every time you want to check on your service, you would have like clicked on market and then click the service and sales. 
So there. That's that might be a bit annoying, but <laughs> luckily you can just pin it. Yeah, you guessed that right. You can pin it. You can pin pretty much anything uh, you want. So yeah, let's let, let's move that here. Um, the routers could could be here, so we can see like the <laughs> yeah yeah the production of routers and the router sales, and then we can have uh, stalling service. But let's pin the item as well. So this is the item. Let's pin it. So now we will see like in real time how many routers we have, how much storage we have, and how much we are producing, and how much we are making, and like what the fuck, <laughs> this is so cool. Um, yeah, the internet satellites, like 35% will the orbit in 6 years, and then every one, every one year will uh, the orbit a little bit. So it's like in ATX1, but now it's more clear, and yes. Uh, and there are buttons, so now if you, in 20, uh, 2004, if you launch an internet satellite um, on orbit, it will have like different calculations, like it won't take general number of link links and deorbit them, which is nice. Uh, what can I show you still? Um, yeah, the <laughs> International Space Station, we have our very nice cameras here. Um, and of course we can dock stuff to it. Uh, the parking orbit is not yet working, and that is of course uh, Boca Chica. As you can see, this will be one big building, but this is only a, a test model. Like this model will be better. Like a lot of models are placeholders in this game. Still, uh, so yeah, we, we can like recreate Starbase, which is nice. Something like this. And yeah, that is that is a catching animation. <laughs> oh look, the link links appeared. I don't know why they didn't earlier, uh, but they do now at least, which is very nice. Uh, yeah, w one more thing I wanted to show you. Uh, yeah, maybe the filters. Like you can easily select from what place you want to uh, check <laughs> on the stuff. Um, and on Mars. It's yeah, not a lot is done in terms of graphics and in terms of buildings as well. But recently I completed a solar panel mechanic, so let's place a few. Like you can see, it requires some items, um, and yeah, as uh, you can see, it produces like zero kilowatt hours per day, and the efficiency is zero percent now. <laughs> because it's fucking night, <laughs> so <laughs> this is so cool. This is so cool. So now we will wait for the day, and you will see how nicely the efficiency changes and the production. Oh wait, uh, I will very quickly build a battery, because without battery the electricity will not be able to be stored anywhere. So let's see. So the efficiency now increases to like a few percent. And it's now almost, yeah, 4 kilowatts per day, it's 90%. And if you place a solar panel, like on the pole here, like it's day as well, yes, but it's getting much less sun. So the efficiency is like literally 15%. So if you build a base based on your solar panels, then I would do that like in the Ecuador. But I guess in the Ecuador there will be more danger of solar panel, uh, of sandstorms. So you will have to like really balanced stuff uh, so yeah uh, it produces electricity and as you can see uh, there is like no like in atx1 you had this cool little ui that told you how many items like how many resources you had and here you don't have that but this is all right because you have the fucking quick access menu so you can literally pin that and like if I hold right click, I can see it. So this doesn't clutter the UI a lot. Let's put it here. Uh, yeah, here as well, you can see it. Like, yeah, this is... Uh, the game is moving forward. There is still a lot of, like, a lot of stuff to do. Like, a lot. <laughs> I can't explain how many stuff is still to be done, but a lot. Yeah, 
it, it's getting there, and this was a very small update. Uh, very small update, yes. So, take care. Bye-bye.